Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. satisfied with how you all have been acclimating to and utilizing the energies of the equinox The equinox energies are upon you and they will continue to be upon you because of the openness of those of you who are awake. You are grounding these energies into the physical reality for yourselves and others. Others who are not awake and have a bit of resistance within them that is preventing them from accessing these energies fully are going to be benefiting from 
their interactions with you. You offer others permission to open up and receive because you have already done just that. Subconsciously, other people know that there is something about you that is right, that is whole, that is tuned in to what they want to be tuned in to. And you exude high frequency energies as well. Those high frequency energies are offering you something you've never had before. It is a filter. And the filter is preventing others from being able to project anything into your field that is lower vibrational in nature. These equinox energies are also purging from your energy fields, that which you have picked up and that which has been projected into your fields throughout your time there on Earth. And so this is a time of great freedom, greater sovereignty, and it is an opportunity for you all to create like you have never created before. Because you can do so without interference. And you can inspire others who will see you operating from this free state with less baggage and less limitations. This is one of the many ways in which you are there to lead your fellow humans into a higher state of consciousness. You do so by your example much more so than you do with words. You help so many other humans just by being yourselves, just by being as open as you are. And just by being willing to change, you are there to create a better world, a world for everyone. To live in harmony with each other in. And there is no better time than now to start actualizing this new world into your experience. 
And from that higher frequency state, you can invite others to join you. Others who may not share your beliefs, but do know that they want to feel better, that they want to feel freer and more sovereign. You are living in a time of great change and it is change for the better. It always will be. You are being given an opportunity to experience yourselves as powerful creator beings. But you have to believe that you can create a better reality, a better earth for all. And that means some of you still have to let go of the idea that you are victims who are being oppressed. People can and will try to oppress you, try to make you into victims, but you don't have to go along with any of that. The first step is recognizing that you create your reality, that you are powerful beings. And now you can create your reality with less interference than you have ever had. We are very excited to see what you will do with that freedom. Well, the Arcturian Connecting with She's over there on the couch. <laughs> Doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching my video. And, um, and I know if you're watching this video, you probably watch uh, more than one. <laughs> so thank you for your continued support. Um, it's actually kind of hot in the house right now. Um, the weather's been, we've had this like crazy uh, Hawaii weather where it's like rainy one minute, sunny the next minute, windy the next minute. <laughs> but I did a hike today and it was awesome. Um, extra long hike because I did it by myself. Um, Talia was having a play date. Um, and then I got home and uh, we got her ready for bed, bathed her. She loves she loves that now. She loves playing in the bathtub, and uh, and got her into the bed. And then I was um, she does this thing like her favorite phrase, I guess you could call it, is dubba dubba dubba. So she's like she'll say dubba dubba dubba, and she says it like in so many different scenarios. And so sometimes I'll say it too. 
I'll say it back to her. And sometimes that really annoys her. Like she'll scream if I do it. She'll just look like angry with me. So then I decided tonight that, okay, well, maybe I just need to speak my own dubba dubba dubba. And, uh, and so I start speaking light language to her. And, um, and then I would stop. And then she would speak. She would kind of like imitate me. So she would do like, she would kind of like, I don't think she's actually speaking light language yet, but she was pretending like she was like mocking me. But they, but it wasn't obviously an exact replica because that would be hard for any of us to do. But um, it was so much fun. <laughs> and then every once in a while, it, she'd just come back at with me with a um, with a dibba dibba dibba. <laughs> So uh, we had a lot of fun at, at bedtime tonight. Um, and she's sleeping real good. And I, I, um, I've been, you know, getting, uh, I've been finding that like I don't need as much sleep lately. And uh, I've been getting a lot of work done with an acupuncturist. And we've been working on like getting herbs in me and detoxing me and, um, B vitamins, instead of getting a shot at this place I've been going to get a shot at, I've been taking uh, some supplements from from my new doctor, doctor, uh, oh, I, I won't say her name, but she's uh, she's wonderful, and, um, and I really felt the difference um, in me, so, and of course we have all these March Equinox energies around too, <laughs> I'm sure that has something to do with it. Um, anyway, uh, I've got a couple things to promote here on intuitive sound, light language, and hands-on healing Academy. Uh, look down below, whether you're watching on YouTube or Instagram, uh, for the link to that, uh, it's danielscranton.com slash healing Academy. Um, that starts on the 20th and it's the 17th today. I only saw one reference to St. Patrick's Day today. It was uh, Mindy Kaling on on uh, Instagram. <laughs> Didn't hear anybody else or see anything else online today about St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, um, so it's the 17th today as I make this right now. It's probably the 18th where you are watching it. And the next time I make a video will be the night of the 19th, and you'll probably be watching that one on the 20th. Um, so, because um, I'm taking one night off. Uh, so, if you're going to sign up, and you, you need to be reminded, um, <laughs> now would be a good time to do it, because there won't be a video tomorrow night to remind you. Um, and then I have the advanced group channeling class coming up with the Arcturian Council, doing all the teaching. That's on... April 8th. I'm also doing a um, group healing event, which I'll start to include a link down below for that too. Um, that's, that's just on the 24th. So that's in one week. Um, and that's where I do the, the hands on, well, it's Reiki from a distance with um, sound and light language healing on everyone who attends and you don't even have to attend live. You submit your your intention for the healing, what you want healed. You can get one or two or three intentions. You can do it for other people. And then um, I just go into the channeling state where I'm channeling light language tones and um, Reiki energy from my hands and heart to out there into the ethers where it will then find where it needs to go. And you'll be listening to it, too, on the recording if you don't attend live or you listen live and receive it that way. So anyway, that's my story. Another kind of disappointing season finale on Homeland last night. So uh, I'm hoping it gets better again. I think the first three seasons were so much better than four and five. Um, and I'm also watching uh, the other thing I'm watching. We're we're watching as a as a 
husband and wife here team, we're watching Modern Family, which is really good. We just finally got into that and we're loving that. And, um, and then I'm also watching Curb Your Enthusiasm, which I'm just re-watching. I've seen every episode. Um, and I bumped into, well, I didn't say anything to him, but I bumped into Larry David a couple times when I lived in Santa Monica and, um, Jeff Garland too, um, didn't say anything to him either. But, um, anyway, oh, and Ted Danson and, and Mary too, I saw the farmer's market once. So <laughs> anyway, that's a great show and I'm really enjoying it for my, um, like cleansing after watching Homeland. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you are having a great week and everything's going well. Happy Equinox to you, whether you're uh, spring or fall. And uh, I'll be back here in 48 hours, so hope this tied you over till then. Uh, hit subscribe on the YouTube if you're watching everywhere else. Just come back. And uh, however you found me, wherever you found me, I'll be back here doing this again. Uh, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> All right. Bye for now, everybody.